you there. Uh, we have the w plumbing and the electrical comes out to the barn. That's already done. Uh, the electrical is just one big cable in the barn that still has to be hooked up. The electrical is absolutely necessary for lighting, for heating the water in the winter, and for other uh, needs that would go on in the barn. Um, we also have, I don't know, about two-thirds of the barn is done. We have these areas that are fully open are there for a high tensile polycarbonate material that can withstand the high sun exposure and the cold winters and the winds. Uh, we want a lot of natural light coming in here for the health of the animals and also uh, just their mental health and well-being. We have, uh, if you notice around here, the whole bottom edge of the barn has to be sealed in or else snow and water will get in and the foundation will erode. So we have to get material, probably metal, uh, for sealing that in as well. We have batten to go on the barn to seal up these little cracks or little spaces between the boards as well to uh, stop moisture from getting in because we're going to be storing our hay in the barn in uh, extra um, little paddocks here um, so we don't have to go traveling to get the hay and keep that long route to the storage area plowed. Um, we also have run-in shelters that we need to get built. Uh, for those that don't know about run-in shelters, they're be sort of like a carport. It's a roof with four posts usually and sometimes, depending, you can have it like this one over here where three walls are filled in and one wall is open. Uh, so a variety of uh, probably three to four run-in shelters for the alpacas to get out of the sun and the wind or rain or snow, the elements. Um, so. This is roughly uh, the majority of the project that we still have to finish. And uh, I'm just asking you guys, anyone that feels motivated to contribute and donate money to this large project, we're setting this up as an education center, as a retreat space for people who can and, and don't want, cannot and don't want to uh, go through this kind of trouble for themselves. It's not quite probable or possible, but we're doing it so that we can create this as an access point for people, especially in cities, so that they can come out and visit and educate themselves. We're going to have workshops eventually. We're going to have little cabins uh, all around. In the outskirts here, we have 134 acres of forest, trails, pasture. Uh, this is going to become the place for people to come for hanging out, for kicking back, having farm experience, getting your kids involved, getting your kids to actually grow up knowing what where an egg comes from and how it turns up on their plate uh, and also how the difference uh, between an egg from a store and an egg that you would get from a small homestead like ours. Um, so a lot of uh, value to this and I really hope that you feel connected to our purpose and our dream and you want to get involved because this is not about us, this is about us, uh, the big us and w we're really ex overextending ourselves at the moment just to get this to happen. It's a big dream and we want to share this with everyone, uh, but we really need others to share with us to get this thing really off the ground. Thank you.